Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's really good to see you. We're going we're gonna to be in Psalm 23 again this morning. So Hamish is going to read it. Okay, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So it is day four, and we're on to verse four, which is, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about this valley of the shadow of death, we're talking about a dark place. We're talking about times in life when things are a bit more frightening, when it, we might be a bit fearful. It might be because we can't see our way forward. When you think of the shadow, it can obscure things. So, Rachel, you had a lovely thought about shadows. You like shadows, don't you? Well, I like shadows because um, if I ever see my shadow, I look really tall. And anybody that knows me knows I'm ever so short. I'm not quite five foot. But yet a shadow it often looks bigger than it is. And it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Sometimes the shadows are more frightening than the reality. And I don't know about you, but I often worry about things that might happen or what would happen if that happened. And sometimes these shadows are magnified. Um, I remember we took, we took um, a group of young people a good few years ago now down through the really dark tunnel at Shaw Pry when we were talking about this psalm with them, talking about even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So we wanted to go into a bit of a frightening, scary place with them. And we took them through this tunnel. And we had <laughs> been told there's lights through this tunnel, but we were told at nine o'clock they switched the lights off. And it's quite a long tunnel, so it then it goes was, very dark. It was scary. And, and the young people were great, but there was lots of screens as we went in the tunnel because you couldn't see where you were going. And um, lots of sort of, ah, I'm scared. And it's not a, an easy place, is it, to be when you're in a place, a dark place. It's not easy. And um, you don't know quite where you're going. But what we did notice about these young people, they started to link arms like this. So they go through in a little group. And what happened was they got through the tunnel together. And what I think so lovely about this verse, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And the reason we don't need to fear evil because God says he is with us. And I just thought of this linking arms. God is linking arms with us in whatever situation we face. We don't need to fear evil because he is with us. So I wanted to just talk really about the presence of God. We often talk about the presence of God at this time of year, but there's another verse and it's so true. It's in Psalm 139 and I find this a great comfort and we don't know what you're facing today and you might be facing a valley so deep and so dark um, and we're not saying uh, we wish it all away, but what we are saying is there is a strength because he is with us and his presence is with us. It cannot ever go away. So let's just um, read Psalm um, 139. Sorry, 139. Here we go. I have got it ready. Um, and this has been a very precious psalm to me over this last year. It says, where can I go from verse seven? Sorry. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. And this has been a precious song to me. Some of you know, um, our youngest daughter has been out in Mexico. Um, out doing a YWAM thing. She's been doing lots of missions and different things. And I have, as a parent, worried, um, is she going to be okay? And this psalm has been a real comfort to me, even though she may settle on the far side of the sea, even there, 
your hand will guide her and you will hold her fast. It's been something I have prayed for her. So we know that however difficult our circumstances are, he promises his presence to us. So I hope that um, encourages you a little bit today. Yes, and it is, mm. it's very clear that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, there is going to be times when we are going to have problems mm. in our life. We're going to be dark times in our lives, but we don't need to be fearful because actually we don't need to fear because we can take great courage that God is with us. And this this third week of Advent, we're coming up to the Christmas period. And um, mm. if we just remember what Christmas is really all about, it's very clear that God sent his son down to from heaven down to earth for us. And it says in Matthew 1.23, um, where's it gone? The, the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Mm. Jesus came down to earth to be with us. He's with us in the mess of our lives and he wants to encourage us. He wants to give us comfort that he is with us. So I think even at this Christmas period time, we need to remember that God is with us. God loves us. Mm. And actually we should take hope in that and we should take mm. faith in that and not be worried about the shadows which are cast around us. So yeah. shall I pray for Lovely. us today? Yeah. All right. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for this Christmas time when we do remember that you sent your son down to earth. You mm. sent your son to be a saviour for us mm. and for your son to come down here and to walk among us. Lord, I thank you that you love us and that you didn't forget about us. And actually, we can't escape from you. Your presence is all around. So, Lord, we pray that whatever difficult circumstances we might find ourselves in today or over this next week, that we will look to you. We'll realise that you are, are bigger than our problems and that you don't leave us alone in our problems. And actually, we should be reaching out to link arms with you, to, to walk through whatever dark valleys we might be with. So, Lord, we pray that you would just go with us now. And that as we go into this day, that we will just remember that you are with us. I thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And we've got a song. I think we've put a couple of songs on each day. But uh, one for today is Oh No, You Never Let Go. You Never Let Go yeah. of Us by Matt Redman. It's a great one for your day ahead. So God bless you. See you soon. God bless.